Springtime, normally a time of growth, beauty, and new possibilities. This year has been a little bit different, but nature has found a way to continue the cycle even as we have put our lives on hold. However, some beautiful and unexpected things have happened here in Germany, like this cooking oil becoming one of our favorite parts of spring in Germany. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. This is my wife, Aubrey, and I am Donnie. We are two Americans living in Germany, sharing all of our experiences and our travels here on this channel. And this bottle of oil is something that we had never seen before until moving to Germany. Well, at least we thought we had it until we realized it's the same thing as canola oil that we have in the US. But you may be asking, well, what does this bottle of oil have to do with anything? I thought this video was supposed to be about spring in Germany. And we'll show you what it has to do with Germany in this video, Springtime for Germany, our favorite things. Fortunately, Germany didn't place lockdowns requiring everyone to stay inside, so we've been able to get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. Actually, as soon as things started shutting down, the weather started changing and becoming really nice, so Germans started flocking to the garden and flower centers to work in their gardens. But there have been a lot of German traditions and festivals that have been canceled that we were really looking forward to. Like one that you guys kept recommending to us was the Walpurgis Night in Tail. In Tail, which from what we've read, it's the Hexennacht, and it's supposed to take place on the night of April 30th, which is in German folklore, the night where witches would come out on top of mountaintops and have consort with the devil. And there's a lot of different regional beliefs as to why they would do these different things, but it seemed like a lot of places it was celebrated with bonfires and people dancing around and making all kinds of noise. And it seemed like it'd be a really cool thing to go see but unfortunately, they've all been canceled. We also had hoped to celebrate May Day the following day on May 1st. This is where they set up big maypoles in the city centers, and we've read about mischief happening where different cities try to steal each other's maypoles. So we didn't get to experience these things, and hopefully we can take part in them next year, but there are still some amazing parts about spring in Germany that we've gotten to experience, and we wanted to share our favorites. The first thing that we experienced whenever we moved to Germany that we thought we knew what to expect and turned out we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into was the weather. We are coming out of the winter time right now, which was basically six months of nothing but cold, gray, cloudy, and rainy days every single day. We'd always heard about England's reputation of cold, gray, and rainy, or Seattle's reputation, but we had never heard about our region of Germany's reputation of being solid, gray clouds and rain for six months. But we are finally coming out of that season and with spring has brought sunny days again, and we never realized the true effect that the sun has on our disposition on life, we suddenly feel alive again, like our head is coming out from underwater and we can breathe again. It is glorious. Along with the shift in weather, the sun has also brought things back to life and brought a whole lot of beautiful things like flowers. A lot of these beautiful flowers can be found in places that we have never seen before in the US. They may exist, but we've never seen them, that have become one of our favorite things here this spring, and those are self-cutting flower fields. No, the flowers are not self-cutting. German engineering has not figured that out yet, but they are flower fields where you can go and cut your own flowers on an honor system. All around our region, there are these fields of flowers that you can go and just cut yourself to take home with you. You walk up to the table and there's a bucket of knives. You take a knife, walk through the rows of flowers and decide which flowers you want, cut them off, and then walk up to consult the list that shows what the cost is for the amount of flowers that you got. Then you just put that amount of money in a little box 
and it's completely based on the honor system. This really makes the outskirts of the villages beautiful. It's fun to see friends and families walking through these fields picking flowers, and this has become one of our at least weekly traditions to walk and go pick flowers to take back home. But there is another beautiful part of spring that we had never seen before and has been one of our favorites. It's currently mid-April, and as we have driven around our region, we have come across huge, densely packed fields carpeted with yellow flowers. It looks like a patchwork quilt covering the hills and it brightens up the countryside around our village. These fields are filled with rapeseed. Do you remember our bottle of oil from earlier? The seeds of this plant are highly sought after for the high levels of oil inside of them. This oil can be used for both consumption and industrial purposes. And what we're used to seeing in the US is canola oil, which is rapeseed oil that comes from Canada. In fact, canola stands for Canada Oil Low Acid. In 2017, Germany was ranked number six in the world for rapeseed production, and the US wasn't even in the top 10, which explains why we have seen so much of it here in our region, and we had never seen it before in the US. But we are not scientists. We're not farmers. We don't care about all of those scientific differences. And we also don't know really anything about that. But we do know something beautiful when we see it. Just take a look at these fields. These fields are all over the countryside in our region, and you can go and walk right along them on many of the hiking trails snaking through the fields. From afar, it looks like a carpet of yellow, but up close, they are individual, small, delicate flowers. They grow dense and high, and we've seen deer leaping through the yellow fields. You can see tulips in the Netherlands, but how have we never heard about this? Our third most favorite thing about springtime in Germany goes by many names like white gold, the royal vegetable, or just simply white Ooh. asparagus. The word in German for spring is Frühling, but the other German word Spargelzeit can also determine what season you are currently in. And of course, we are talking about Spargel. Now I'm about to break a lot of Germans' hearts actually by saying I really don't like Spargel. But the good news is that means there is so much more for you. I have not actually gotten to try Spargel yet. I've wanted to try it at an authentic German home or German restaurant so I get the very best experience with this Spargel. But with everything being closed, I haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. I don't really want to try to make it here at home because we've heard it can be difficult and I want to really experience the best of this sparkle. All around our area, we've seen sparkle stands being set up and we've seen a buzz of Germans online getting excited about their fill of sparkle. There are festivals surrounding this vegetable as well with fireworks and live music and even sparkle queens being crowned. There are festivals like this in the US for blackberries and strawberries when their seasons come around, but it doesn't seem to reach the height of Spargel. Now Spargel can be served in a lot of different ways, but the most famous way is boiled Spargel with potatoes and ham on the side. You can also find it drenched in a hollandaise sauce or a butter sauce. But what makes Spargel so special? From what I can tell from the outside looking in, besides the flavor that Germans seem to really love, 
It seems to be a lot based on nostalgia and also just the fact that it's available in a very specific time period from April until June 24th. It kind of makes it a limited and exciting thing to have this time of year. So because of that limited time, if the shutdowns continue and restaurants don't open up before the season ends, I do think we're gonna try to make it at home just so that I can experience during this time of the year. Even though one of us doesn't really like this vegetable and one of us hasn't even tried it yet, we are loving the excitement surrounding this season even if it isn't able to be in full swing this year. Now there are a lot of things we didn't get to experience this year because of the coronavirus, like the cherry blossoms in Bonn, different springtime festivals and big Easter celebrations. And the weather does tend to still fluctuate between the sunny, bright, beautiful days and then some rainy, cloudy, little colder days. But overall, we have loved getting to see and experience the beautiful traditions in this time of spring in Germany. And now we wanna know from you guys, what are your favorite springtime traditions? Leave those in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time we send out a video. It's all free, so why not just do it? Thanks so much for checking out this video, and we will look forward to seeing you in our next videos. Cheers! Fields of yellow. <laughs> yellow. These feet. Oh, what? Please. Action. In 2017, Germany was ranked number. S <laughs> Action. Even if one of. Even if this. What is happening? Okay. Even if. Now, sparkle can be served in a lot of different ways. A lot of different ways. <laughs> now, sparkle can be served in a lot. Come on, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Uh, sure. I can't recover from that. <laughs> I'll never be able to financially recover from that. <laughs> and now we. Uh, why did you ask? <laughs>